Visiting the Lasky operation that I visited today was astounding. It was so much fun for me to see how all of this has come about from going to Scott's little teeny shop, seeing his one machine that I thought was, wow, that's really cool, to today I'm, I was just blown away seeing where the brass comes from, how the mouthpiece is made, how many you can make, how it's being able to be cleaned and seeing the little spare parts. It was just tremendous. And seeing the number of people that are so dedicated to work on this new project. I'm happy that students have a really good mouthpieces to purchase today, instead of some of the examples of mouthpieces that I see come through my studio, but also going around to many of the horn workshops and seeing how these mouthpieces are changing students' lives and making it easier. I believe Scott would be very happy seeing his mouthpieces have a next life and going forward because I think he was always trying for the next color. He would send me some new mouthpieces once in a while and I'm saying, I don't think it's as good as what you were doing, you know. Well, this copy is blah, blah, blah. And, and, and I think what he was doing, he had a better sense of what he had heard, mainly because he heard us play in, in orchestra hall. So he knew what carried, and I think that's where he got a lot of his ideas. I think he and I'm sure his family are just thrilled with the product that you're producing today.